Welcome South Pasadena Tigers. Let's do a little electricity experiment for Halloween. Since I don't have any volunteers, I have to use a fake wig. That's not my wig, by the way. This is called a Van der Graaff generator. All right, now let's do a couple of really exciting light experiments. This demonstration is called seeing sound, not hearing sound. Oh, geez, long day at the lab. Oh, hey there. Hi, I'm Dr. Cuckoo, and I've been here all day in this lab, and you just come just in time for us to clean up. Um, I've been working on this magic potion for the longest time. This is a nice orange potion, and, and let me here just, just kind of clean this up a little bit. Clean this up a little bit, throw some of the, oh no, oh no, this is, Oh shoot, this is the wrong one. It turned it black. It turned it black. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Here, let me fix that real quickly. Let me fix that so it'll... Um... There we go, there we go, there we go. That's nice, nice, nice tiger orange once again. There we go. All right, so so I cleaned that, that stuff up. Um, now the next thing I'm gonna do is I gotta clean up the bubbles. So the bubbles are kind of a mess. So if you watch right here, I've got my bubble fountain right here. It's, it's going up. I gotta clean this one up too. Oh, it's splattering all over. Let me clean my apple wood. All over the place. Alright, so I got a bubbles. We're gonna clean up by burning it. So here we go. Ah! Oh, it is nice and good. It's good. Alright, the uh, third thing I gotta clean up is this handkerchief. It's been, oh, it's, it's nasty. It's, it, it's gross. I, actually, I don't even know why I touched it. Here, let me wash my hands a little bit. I have this magic super cleaner solution that I just bought the other day. And it's supposed to do the wonders. It's supposed to do wonders here. All right, so it's real easy to clean. All I gotta do is I gotta take my dirty handkerchief uh, and, and just try to drip it in there. Get it all soaked up, all soaked up. Okay, got it. It's great. Wring it dry. Wring it dry. Okay, and I gotta remember to, to burn it because. Um, Got to burn it clean. Right, here we go. Oh, there we go. Burn it clean. Burn it clean. Oh, oh gosh. Alright. Alright, it is. It is nice and clean. There we go. Nice and nice and clean. Unscathed by the burning process. Beautiful. Alright, bye bye. Thanks for joining us as we're cleaning up Mr. Cuckoo's laboratory. Hey guys, I'm your... I'm Ava and I'm your Commissioner of Spirit. Let's read that. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Ava and I'm your Commissioner of Spirit. And today we are going to be making some Rice Krispie treats. They're going to be so delicious. Welcome to Ava's Kitchen. Let's get into this. First stop, the stove. Our first step is that we need to put three tablespoons of butter into this pan. So we're just melting this butter. You're gonna take your whole pack of marshmallows, the whole, I think. Let those chill in there. Gosh, I would be an awful YouTuber. Can I not get an angle? Put six cups of Rice Krispie cereal into our mixer. One.
And we gotta add our special thing, some candy corn. Oh, I like how I missed completely. Okay. It's really just... As you can tell, I'm a pro. Take off some wax paper. We're gonna cover our uh, 13 by nine by two pan. I didn't mix this very well, huh? Oops, well, too late. And I put it into the baking sheet. Maybe not very well, but it's definitely there. So that's... Okay, so that was a really traumatic experience for me. Um, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. I think you just wait for it to cool down and cut it. Okay. I'm doing my job. My Rice Krispie treats are finished. Okay, let's let's take a look. So let's head over to the table. All right, so we're at the table. Like a 20 out of 10. Oh my God. All right, so that's the end of Baking with Ava, your commissioner of spirit. So like and subscribe for more cooking. You know how it is. Welcome to the Halloween carving competition. <laughs> what is up guys? Welcome to our annual pumpkin carving contest. So we are gonna give them all 10 minutes to cut their own pumpkins and then me and Khalil, as the host, will judge them. Are you guys ready? Three, two, one, begin. Let's look at our first contestant. What are you making for us today? Well, I was thinking of a funny face, but it's really just gonna be a surprise. Huh. By the end, you know? I'm going for um, kind of a scared theme. Typically, okay. the feeling before a timed right. This is what I'm going for today. I like that, I like that. So my pumpkin, I really just wanted to convey my strong emotions and just, I had a timed right this past Friday and there's just no words to describe how I felt, so I decided to put it into a pumpkin. So here on this hot day, you are... <laughs> I've never carved a pumpkin before. What? As soon as I had my little plastic knife in hand, I realized, shoot, I've never carved a pumpkin before. This is it's gonna a be... great experience for us to have. I'm doing like a little cute face. What are you doing? Pretty good. My pumpkin's a little crooked, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, like they started and I realized my pumpkin is crooked and I just felt like I had a disadvantage the whole way through. I like Isabella's idea to go with the smiley face pumpkin. I feel like it's a really thought out and provocative idea. I like your thinking. I don't know about the two other classes, especially Kira. Let's check my game with the contestant. You know, you gotta take the stress and work with it. You know, I was so nervous in the middle of it, but I had to like keep a straight face. Cause I'm a really strong person. <laughs> That's just, like backstory. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I was pretty nervous to do this with my sister. Um, honestly, having my sister here is just, it's really distracting. I think growing up, we were always, I was always kind of in her shadow. And I feel, I can feel her pressuring me like two tables over and it's just really messing with my head. I'm actually taller than her now, so I am no longer in her shadow. Even without the experience, I think I still did better than some other people. You know, a couple of times my, my knife bent, you know, you just gotta roll with the punches and straighten it back out and continue stabbing the pumpkin. Quinn really needs to get started with her carving process. She hasn't finished uh, cutting the face out yet. You're hurry up. Adding design, texture, you know? Ladies, we are halfway done through the pumpkin carving. When Khalil and Matisse announced that it was halfway through, I felt my heart pound a little bit because I was like, Oh my gosh, I'm not done yet. So the halfway mark just passed and I have my full face completed, but then I'm like, I should put a bow tie. So I'm kind of scared that that might not work out. I hope it doesn't backfire. Halfway through, I noticed that my knife bent and I was just shocked. <laughs> we have five seconds left. Two, one. Yeah, hands off. Well done. What are you going for? Well. At the beginning, I was just kind of playing with it, and then I thought, you know what, Shrek, I really, really hope that I made it. I really hope that I did it. I was trying to put into a pumpkin the feeling that you would typically have before a timed right. I added a special motif mm -hmm. over onto the side. I see. Rhetorical analysis. So I know it kind of looks like a mouth, but this is like the mouth, and it's like the bow tie. So I know that my design wasn't really good, and I felt a constant pressure from Matisse. I feel like he just kept attacking me throughout the whole thing. Where is he? 
<laughs> That's <laughs> true though. I didn't quite finish, but this is kind of a scared face type look. Um, yeah, it is quite scary. <laughs> it appears that me and Khalil, we have four pumpkins to judge on. We took a fair look at all the pumpkins and we feel that Quinn's pumpkin has been the best pumpkin. You know, there's the best presentation, uh, artwork, and styling. And um, senior class wins again. I'm really, really, really shocked that I won, but I'm not surprised. I mean, I know I'm superior because I know I'm way more mature than these young kids. I was really surprised that I didn't get first place, but I love silver. I'm kind of surprised I didn't get last place, um, but third isn't bad. I'm, uh, I'm a little shocked. I did get last place, but it's okay. I will definitely be more excited for next year. Pace, what are you doing? That's my pumpkin! Oh, that was as cool as I thought. So wait, are you gonna, are say you gonna something? say something? Hello, SPHS. Are you ready for your annual mummy run? For the freshman class, we have Hannah. For the sophomore class, we have Samantha. For the junior class, we have Ava. And for the seniors, we have Giannis. We had each member wrap themselves in toilet paper. And I'm gonna be timing them on the phone to see who can make it around the obstacle course fastest. Ready, set, I'm ready. go. So it didn't go exactly as planned. Do I go this way? Yeah, yeah that's good. Okay. The oh, oh, drop some toilet paper. It's the bay, it's the toilet paper. No, it's toilet paper. <laughs> Okay, that was 20.08. Oh, that was 16.23 seconds. Step on the plate, the plate! That was 19.96. That was 15.44 seconds. That was 15.44 In fourth place, we have the freshmen. We have Hannah. In third place, we have the juniors with Ava. In second place, we have Samantha with the sophomores. And in first place, Don is with the seniors! <laughs> Yo, it's Khalil, your commissioner of, your commissioner of Athletics. Ronald Witter, prank the Commissioner General right now. We got five minutes, man. Alright guys, Dylan somehow locked the keys in, the, in his car. <laughs> this man locked his keys in the car. So now we can't prank Bo. It's a rush, guys. We gotta see if we can prank Lindsay in time. There are the keys, I don't know if you can see that. Tune back in, guys. We back in the car, Mr. Ugasian, football coach, just pulled up, <laughs> gave us the car keys. It's game time, boys. All right, y'all, on the way to prank Lindsay. We'll see what happens, man. We'll see how she reacts. Hey, we're here, y'all, we'll see what happens, bro. She's sitting down over there. Is she like as outgoing as you? She's outgoing, but like. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we got her, y'all. Prank oh the Commissioner god. General. Oh my How does it feel? How does it feel? Oh, I did not think you were gonna scare me. <laughs> got her, guys. Got her.